Hi everyone, so we're doing a part two. I was guided to do a part two because I think that there's a couple different storylines here. Um, and so I wanted to make sure that I can post different descriptions on the video so that everyone that needs to see this sees this. I don't usually do it like that, but once in a while I do feel drawn to do it that way. Um, in the last video though, I was getting that there's someone that's possibly doing dark magic. It's somebody that's very, uh, they're very vengeful. They feel like they're kind of delusional. They think that people around them are bad people and that they're a good person and they deserve all these wonderful things and kind of like a narcissistic energy. They, they don't, they're not a very deep person, not a very empathetic person. They're very jealous, very bitter, very competitive, um, kind of like a frenemy type. And I'm getting that you're coming into abundance and someone wants to block that for you, but we're going to look more into it. But it's kind of like this energy of somebody... They just have this, why do they deserve that and not me mentality. Now, for some, this might be a friend where maybe you guys were, were talking to the same person and that person chose you over them and they're upset about it. For others, it might be like a job opportunity where you're getting a promotion or you're finding a new career and that's not really happening for this person. Because um, I'm just feeling like it's, it's almost like they're taking their anger out on you. Like they feel like... They just feel like you have something and that like it just like you have this abundance and it just comes to you so easily and they have this mentality of like why do they deserve that and not me like I don't understand like why is it so easy for them just like a very jealous mentality. So check that first video if this resonates with you but I'm going to continue the storyline with where we were at. I want to know, I was getting something about, I was also getting a message about them possibly if they were doing dark magic, it's like they might have been trying to lead you down a false path. Like they really put a lot of effort into it. This person is kind of intelligent too. So they might have been trying to lead you down a false path, whether it's, you know, money, career, love, so that when this offer comes in, you don't see it, you don't recognize it because you're so busy investing in a false path. Tell me more about this this illusion, this false path. Like what are they what are they doing to you? What are they trying to do? King of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Wheel of Fortune. Two of Wands. You really need to be careful who you vent to. Like if you if you know who this is, be careful about talking to people about it's almost like like you're not bragging. I don't think you're bragging at all. I think you're just you you are genuinely excited about where your life is going. You're you're trying to manifest love. You're trying to manifest something here. But someone sees it as bragging. Like this is like a, a false friend type. So you need to be mindful of that. And be careful of who you talk to. You could be younger than someone as well, and someone might be kind of bitter about that. Someone might be kind of jealous because they feel like, that's just for someone specific, that they're jealous because they feel like you're youthful and you're you're free-spirited and you're beautiful and they're not anymore. They feel like they're getting older. You might have multiple love offers coming in. I almost feel like, let me see here. Is the King of Pentacles and the Emperor, this? are they the same person? You need to be careful if you're talking to someone, like if you're venting to somebody um, and they're giving you bad advice because I almost feel like there's someone here that actually is a good match for you, but they're trying to get you to like see it as a karmic cycle and just wrap it up. And this wouldn't be someone that like, this wouldn't be someone that was abusive or toxic. This is almost like, almost like the type of friend where you talk to them and you tell them, you know, that you're excited, you're going on this date and the, the friend is like, oh, that, that guy is too, he's not your type. He's not physically your type or that's, that's a weird career path that he has. Are you sure that's for you? It's like, they're trying to sabotage you. They're trying to get you to end a cycle when there's actually a love offer here for you. There's something that you've been waiting a long time for. And they know you're about to go on a new path. You're actually, you're, you're about to manifest somebody. But they want you to like almost juggle between being single and being with this emperor or this empress. 
Like they almost want to put it in your head that, you know, maybe being single is better. Or it's like if this is like a career option, they're they're trying to um, it's like they're trying to sabotage some kind of career option for you here, like so maybe so that they can take it or they just feel like you don't deserve it. So they're trying to tell you maybe maybe this is like a friend that you you I don't know if you would trust them a lot because I feel like you would be getting red flags from them, especially if you're intuitive, like you're going to feel like something's off because it's like when you talk to them, you just feel like a sense of um almost like a sense of like jealousy like they don't really seem happy for you but they try to pretend like they're happy for you but it could be like one of those situations where it's like you tell them you're gonna get promoted at work or you're gonna apply at this place and this person is like oh don't apply there like don't like I think they want it I almost feel like for a lot of you I feel like they want a position and they're not telling you that but they're hoping to get that position themselves and so they're trying to convince you not to take it so that they can take it Or there could be someone like in your friend group that they kind of like. And instead of just saying that, they're they're trying to convince you that this person wouldn't be ideal for you or that they it's like they like the same person that you like. So they're trying to convince you not to go for it. They're trying to convince you this person would, you know, like like lie about this person to you or convince you this person is no good when intuitively you are actually are feeling really drawn to this person. But they want they want to be the first choice. They want to go for it. Basically, what it comes down to, whether it's love or money or career, this person just wants to be the first choice. And so they're in this kind of secret hidden competition with you in a way. Um, let me pause this for a minute so I can just kind of channel and sit here for a second with it. This could even be a friend that's resentful about something that you did years ago. Like, yeah, if they if they want someone that you want, it's like they might try to convince you to go date someone that like they know wouldn't be good for you. Like they're trying to get you to go down another path. Let's just look into that really quick. Tell me more about that false path that they were trying to get my viewers to go down. Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. Two of Pentacles, Two of Cups. Hmm. I feel like for a lot of you, it's like they were trying to get you to doubt it. They were trying to get you to doubt your path. And this could, this could come out in like a lot of ways. It might not be love or money. It could be your spiritual path as well. Where maybe you're, you're thinking about doing something and it's like this person is just discouraging you. Like you want to you wanna start a YouTube channel or you want to um, pursue something that's unconventional. And it's like this person is jealous. It's like this person sees you working towards something, working towards your goals and they want to convince you not to open up. They want to convince you that you have to stay on your ground, that you're not safe, that this is going to be hard to manifest. It's like it could be one of those things where it's like maybe they're in a similar line of work or they wanted to do something similar as well and it didn't work out for them. And so it's going to piss them off if it works out for you when it didn't work that well for them or when it was hard for them. You know, like if you guys are both into music and maybe they worked their whole lives to be a musician and you just have talent that this person doesn't have. It's like this person wants to convince you that this path is hard. You know what I mean? But they, but and I'm not saying the path is easy, but I think it's something that you're, I feel like whatever this is, this is like your birthright. This is something that's destined for you, whether it's a person that you're aligned with and this is like your soulmate and this person's looking and they're like, you know, I wish my soulmate was like that or I wish I had someone like that or they're looking at like your career or your goals or your hobby, something that you're, you've been really working towards, something that you've been trying to manifest. It's like they're trying to, it's like they want to convince you like love is difficult, love has to be hard or money can't come easily or, you know, like the mus musician example, it's like they're, they're going to they're gonna tell you their story. Like 
oh, I worked so hard for that and I didn't get anywhere. You know, it's, it's you know, go down another path. It's like they want to block you. They don't want to see you getting something that they don't have. They want to convince you it's a struggle. They want you to juggle. They want you to juggle instead of just going. Because honestly, I think the path is, it might not be easy, but I think that you've already put in so much work that whatever it is you've been trying to manifest, love, money, career, whatever it might be, I feel like you're already very close to manifesting it. Like it's already coming in. And it's like this false person can kind of feel that energy and they're panicking because they know that that manifestation is coming, you know, so close to fruition that now they're coming in and they're, they're trying to put doubt in your head. They're trying to put fear in your head so that it doesn't manifest. It's like, let's say for some, maybe you believe in true love and you're idealistic and you're, you're telling this person like, I you know, this is what I want in a partner. This is like, you're, you're opening up to them about, you know, the kind of person you want to date. And you'll, again, you'll feel this. If this is for you, like you'll feel this energy, like you already kind of wouldn't trust them. Maybe you, you, maybe you don't have many friends. So it's like you talk to this person and vent to this person just because you don't have anyone else to talk to, but you always get like a weird, like knots in your stomach when you do vent to them like you feel like oh shit I shouldn't have said that much like you find yourself saying too much and then you're like oh I, like you don't feel comfortable like your body feels tense around this person or like if you if you tell them something good that happened to you they just kind of don't seem very excited they just seem jealous like just very negative and bitter so you would have felt this energy already this isn't somebody that you like genuinely trust this is somebody that this is somebody that you already do not trust, but again, maybe sometime you try, sometimes you try to give them like the benefit of the doubt because you're lonely. Like you want someone to talk to and they're, they're all that's around, so you're like, screw it. Um, but I think intuitively, yeah, you do already know that this person is toxic. If this is for you, if this is, if this is your reading, you already have, you know, seen the red flags with this person and you're already pretty aware that they love to just gossip and gossip and gossip. Yeah, it's a really interesting energy here. Um, yeah, they, they feel like it's coming in soon. For some, I feel like you're telling them like what kind of person you want to date. And they're, you're, you're giving them all these, you know, like I want someone who's who's uh, compassionate and uh, mentally strong and, and brave. And I want somebody who's um, caring and loyal. And it's like this person is just kind of sitting there thinking like, well, I've never met, I haven't dated anybody like that. So why the hell would you deserve to be with somebody like that? You know, but they know it's almost like there's some weird psychic vampire energy exchange going on behind the scenes with you two. Like in the, like in the, like it's, it's unseen. There's a lot going on that you can't physically see yet. But it's, it's almost like they're trying to convince you that you're not being realistic when it comes to love or. It, it's like they really just feel like you don't deserve it and that they do deserve it, but it's going to come out as as them genuinely caring about you and just wanting you to be more logical or wanting you to be more realistic. Like, because they can kind of feel it a little bit. They can feel that you're, they can feel your excitement. They can feel that whatever you're working on, you're getting very close to manifesting it. So they're coming in to try to block it. They want, yeah, they, they, they want you to hold on to your fear and your comfort zone. They, they want you to be like a king or queen of swords type. They want you to be overly logical and closed off and bitter like they are. They want you to sabotage yourself. They want you to sabotage whatever this opportunity is that you've been trying to manifest that's finally about to come into fruition. They want you to sabotage it and hold on to your fear, hold on to pride, hold on to whatever so that you don't align with what you're wanting. I keep getting like a wicked step, like mother energy, like an older woman who's like bitter. And it's like, she's trying to come off as like protective with her son or daughter, but it's, it's really just her own bitterness and jealousy. She wants somebody to be a king or queen of swords, male or female. It's like this person wants you to like be in king of swords energy and kind of sabotage yourself. Yeah. She doesn't want someone to get their happiness. like someone's going towards their happiness anyway though yeah because you're using your intuition and you need to cut this if you know who this is you need to cut them out honestly it's really hard to be alone but it's it's much worse to be around people like this like this is 
This person is going to block your blessings. This person is going to block love, money, everything. This person, you know, this person is going to block you from pretty much everything that you're trying to manifest in your life. Some of you have been going in circles. You're like, why am I not manifesting? Why am I, I'm putting, you know, like you have such good energy. You're putting so much into your manifestations. Like you're a very happy, bubbly person overall. And like, there's this one final person that you need to, you need to get this person out of your life. It doesn't matter if it is a mother. It honestly doesn't matter if you're biologically related. This person is blocking you. This person is like an energy vampire type. This person puts a lot more energy and effort into blocking you than you realize too. Like this might be someone that does black magic. But yeah, you can be successful, but I mean, only if you use your intuition and you are willing to let this person go. Page of Cups, the Fool, Judgment, the Moon. Yeah, this person's going to be judged for what they're doing to you. They're going to have a lot of bad karma to deal with. And if you care about this person, like if you if you're one of those people, like you just you feel bad for them, you don't want to, you know, you, you you just feel upset for them, you feel sorry for them. Think about it this way: the more they do black magic and hurt you behind the scenes, and they will. This person isn't going to stop. They might tell you they've stopped. They might try harder to hide their spell work if you call them out, but they're not. Some of you have like beauty and the beast syndrome and you need to like, you need to knock that off, honestly. Like this, you're not gonna, you're not gonna save this beast. You're not gonna, you know what I mean? You're not, you're not gonna love this person out of this energy. You're not gonna save this person. This person's very toxic. Again, this is not a damaged person who just needs some support and love and healing. This is someone who is like evil at their core. This is someone who's a bad person, just straight up. There's no, this person does not have any empathy towards others this person's a narcissist you cannot like save someone out of narcissism you know what i mean that's that's different that's a much different energy than someone who's just damaged and just needs some support and love and maybe has some toxic patterns that they're working through that's that's different than an actual narcissist like this person is so it doesn't matter if it is a family member you honestly need to cut this person out or you're going to keep being blocked from love money success whether it's a cousin a sister a brother a, a mom or a dad, whoever, you need to clear this energy. They're not, because some of you are like thinking like, oh, I'm going to reason with them or I'm going to, I'm going to, you're not. You're, <laughs> this person's charming, so they might convince you they want to change or they might try to, they're not, because I, I just, I feel that energy of someone watching this and like you're not really taking the advice to heart. This is just for somebody but there's like one or two people that are like watching right now and you're not really taking the advice to heart. You're just like, okay, this person's toxic. I'm still going to save them or I'm still going to, I'm going to have this kind of talk with them, but you're not actually considering cutting them out. You're just like, I'm going to set boundaries or I'm going to do this or this. Like you're not understanding. Like this is an evil person. You need to cut them out. Like there's no boundary setting with someone like this because they don't, they don't care who they have to screw over to get what they want. They're going to keep doing dark magic on you. If you catch them, they might stop for a month or two. They might stop for a little bit until, you know, until you've relaxed again, until you're comfortable, until they've deceived you into thinking that you guys are on a good path. Then they're going to go back to doing dark magic or manipulating you or doing whatever they do. That's not going to change. I honestly, and I don't get that with most readings. Like I usually see hope of people changing. Like a lot of times, even if someone's dark or they're, they've got a lot going on, I still can kind of pick up the sense of like this person might change. This person might, is not going to change this lifetime, honestly, in my opinion. This person might even have like a few lifetimes to go before they even start really changing. Like this person is, is very far gone. And someone needs to really come to terms with that here. I know it's not what you want to hear, but someone needs to come to terms with that. That it's not, this could be like you really want a mother. And so you're, you're seeing, you're trying to, you don't want to let go of this mother because you really want a mother. You know what I mean? Like you don't want to not have that. But this is so much, having this in your life is so much worse than not having it. Like it might hurt in the, you know, the next couple of weeks, it might hurt in the next month, two months, whatever, but you're going to feel so much freer and so much happier. Like you have, whoever this is, it's like, you have no idea how much this person's been holding you back. You really have just no idea how much this person's been trying to sabotage you. This person's really kind of evil.
something, but some, yeah, someone here needs to come to terms with that. I'm going to put the cards away and I'm going to pull more cards and see what else we need to know about this situation. But yeah, I think they come off as protective. Like they try to come off as caring and protective, but I think you kind of see through it already that maybe you're in denial, like you're not wanting to see it, but you kind of know deep down that something is really off here. Um... Because again, it's like if you're trying to manifest love, they're like, they're like make sure you remember, like love is difficult. Like they'll, like they're they're gonna come up with some excuse as to why you shouldn't date this person or this person or this person, or they're gonna tell you, oh maybe you should just be alone right now and work on yourself. Like they're they're gonna try to seem really well intentioned, or you know maybe you shouldn't take this job. It's too many hours or it's gonna be stressful for you. Why don't you go apply it more places and then you apply it more places, you get a job with you know, there's, there's an option with fewer, fewer hours and they, they're like, oh, that's not a good part of town or that's not an, enough pay. Why don't you go somewhere else? Like they're trying to control you and, and you need to be smart here. Um, what else do we need to know about the situation? Yeah, someone's working on themselves. Someone's really trying to be loyal and stable and grounded. And they're really putting a lot of energy into making. I want to say there's something about like um, protect yourself too. Like protect your um, assets, protect your money, protect. Um, ooh. Because I just remember like this is really random, but I remember like seeing a. I think it was on like Quora or something, whatever that website is called. There was a comment someone was leaving where this guy was like, you know, my son has 12 million followers on YouTube. How do I, how do I like delete his account without him hating me? Because I don't think it's a, a you know, viable career option. And everyone was commenting like, you're an idiot. Like 12 million, 12 million followers is like a dream for some people. And I'm getting that kind of energy where it's like, they might, they might try something sneaky or they might try, like, you need to protect your money or your passwords, your um, bank account information, any secret information like diaries. Uh, uh, I'm getting, like, passwords. Passwords keeps coming through a lot. Like, something, this person's really sick. Like, you, you there's something that you really need to protect. Uh, it's going to be different for all of you, but you probably know what that is already. But you need to really be safe here. But yeah, someone's working on being the best version of themselves. They're working on being stable and loyal. They're they're waiting. This person's very um kind of innocent and loving and bubbly. Like I see a really good person here and it's like they're really this you, it's like someone here really sees the best in everybody and I, that's a good thing, I think, but you have to also you have to be able to genuinely see what someone's showing you. It's good to see the best in everybody, but you have to realize when you're just, when the best you're seeing in someone is just your, yourself. It's like you're projecting your own energy onto them or you're seeing something that's not there. You know, if there's genuine good in there, that's fine. But it's like, I think for some, it's like you're in this state of illusion where there really isn't a whole lot of good there. And you're pretending like there is good there because if it fills a need for like a mother or a father or a friend, maybe you're very lonely, but you need to really be honest with yourself about what they're showing you. Um, be a little bit more logical and, and just really, you know, look at, look at things a little bit closer. Don't make excuses for this person. Cause it's like, you're so excited about life and you're like, you're, you're doing something new. Like you're really working towards a goal or you're working on yourself. You're trying to become the best version of yourself. And this person wants to exhaust you. This person wants you to drop, like this person wants you to feel, they feel you changing and they feel that you're, um, It's like your energy is lighter, like you're you're happier lately, you're more bubbly, you're you're excited. Your energy is very youthful, very um high spirited. And they don't like that. They're jealous and bitter of that. They're not they're not trying to protect you. Like some of you need to get that through your head, honestly. It's like you're you're thinking that they're trying to protect you and that they just you know, like like he, someone keeps making excuses, like, oh, this this parent or this sibling or this friend is just 
you know, they've been through a lot and they're jaded and they're damaged and they just don't want to see me get hurt like they got hurt. It's not like that. They they don't give a shit if you get hurt. They don't they're they don't have the empathy towards anyone to care if, if other people get hurt. They only think about themselves. Um but yeah, they're going to present themselves as protective, but that's not what it is. They they really they really just want to take what you have. Or they're like jealous of your free-spirited energy. They're like, "Well, they they're like it could be like an older person who's like, "Oh, I remember when I was, you know, when I was in that energy of, you know, young love or or when I was healthy mentally or physically or when I was um, it's just such a nasty person like, "Oh my god, you need to get out of this." And I'm not talking about setting boundaries. I'm like talking, you need to like block this person. Like you need to get away from this person. Boundaries are not going to be enough. You need to block this person on all platforms. Stop them from spying on you because they will try to gain control of you after you leave. And you need to do a cut and clear ritual. And if you do that, honestly, you're going to be amazed at how much your life transforms this year. All the things that you are waiting on manifesting, the money, the love, the career, the happiness, being your true self everything that you could ever want it's going to come in so quickly you're going to be amazed but it's not going to happen if you allow this person to stay in your life so is it really worth it to have this one toxic person versus having you know new friendships new love um money career like making the world your oyster is it is this one toxic person really worth it they're they're not honestly if you could tune in and feel the energy I'm feeling, you would you would probably just be disgusted by this person, no matter how they're related to you. This person is disgusting, honestly. Like, there's not good in this person. I don't say that often, but honestly, there's not good in this person. There really isn't. This person's not changing this lifetime. It does not matter how much you love them, how much you wait. This person is not going to change this lifetime. In fact, the more patient you are, the more loving you are, the more that they're going to... They just see it as a way to it's like they have you so they're gonna they're gonna take advantage more and more this isn't a good person give that energy to people that are gonna reciprocate and and appreciate it don't let this person make you how they are you know what i mean it's like you're trying so hard to save this person and at some point you're gonna end up becoming like them and becoming bitter and jaded just like they are You need to be more logical here and you need to protect yourself and block this person for sure. Again, you have to cut all, all ties because of the psychic vampire. If you leave any energetic cords attached, they can still pull on your energy and they can still block you to some degree. So that's why like you have to block them. And wh when you do a cord cutting spell, like a cut and clear ritual, you have to really cut them for cut them out for good because if you talk to them again, the cords reattach. You know, so you have to keep at it and you have to do like uncrossing spells as well to really clear the energy out and really protect yourself from this person. Spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, on all levels, you need to protect yourself here. Um, but yeah, what they're wanting is, is to exhaust you. Ten of Wands is like the straw that broke the camel's back. You're bubbly and you're free-spirited and they're looking at you and they're jealous of it. They know you're close to manifesting something. They know you're you're close to being, you're either working on yourself and you're close to like communicating with your true love and being with your true love, or you're close to like getting a job offer or you're moving out or you're getting money, you're getting something really good that you've worked very hard for. And this person, again, they're looking at you and they're thinking, I remember when I was free spirited and, and bubbly like that and look what happened to me. I got, I got broken up with or I got, I didn't get the job that I wanted. I ended up working at a grocery store my whole life or, or this job and I, I never found the career I wanted why why does you know especially if you're like a son or daughter they like kind of almost look down on you they're like well why does this little young shit deserve this when I didn't you know I'm older than you like, kind of like an entitled sick person who's just like oh I'm older than you like why do you why do you you're so you're young and youthful you don't know anything about life yet we just wait until you get screwed over and it's like they want to drag people down to their level it's really gross, um, especially if it's a parent. It's, like, really sad to, like, see a parent not want the best for their kid. But, again, don't take it personally because this is just – this person's evil. It's, it has nothing to do with you. It's really – it's not about you. Like, it's it's really – this person is just evil with everybody. This person – that's just how they are. The narcissists are charming, so they can pretend like they're not when they want to get what they want. But it's, it's, it's all an act. It's an illusion, and you need to break free from that illusion now. But, um, 
Yeah, because it's like they didn't get the career they wanted or the love they wanted or something happened with their love life where it's like they lost somebody. So they're like, well, why would why would they just why do they deserve this and not, you know, I didn't end up with the love of my life or I didn't end up with my, my dream career or, or with my dream house. I didn't end up financially successful. Why do you deserve it? It's like an ego thing, too, especially if you're like younger than them. They're like, why, why, why do you get that? Why does this young little like they're looking at you in such a disgusting, condescending way where they're like, what do you know? You're you're 20, 30 years younger than me. You don't know anything like why? Do, I worked my whole life for this and I never got it. Why the hell do you think you deserve to get it at your age? Like it's such a gross energy. But um, yeah, they're going to try to put doubt in your mind. They're going to try to put fear in your mind. If you want love, they're going to try to convince you you're about off single. If you want money, they're going to try to convince you you're, you know, money doesn't grow on trees and it's hard and stressful and you should work a crappy job like they had to. It's just, or they'll convince you to stay in the same toxic career because it's what you worked for, but you're not, your soul is not wanting that anymore. Your soul is wanting to be free of like a toxic career, but they'll try to convince you to stay in that career because it's like you're stuck there. Like they want to keep you stuck. They want to keep you stagnant. After they put this, they, they want to mentally torment you almost to the point where you it's like they can't stand to see you get something that they didn't get themselves you have to understand like that's it's such a disgusting mentality it's so selfish it's not and again it's it's not someone who's just damaged like this person has a, an evil soul this person has this is a karmic this is not someone from your past lives, honestly. I do not feel like this is a past life connection. I feel like they have created the illusion that it's a past life connection because they know, again, it's like you want a mother or a father or you want a friend. You don't. You feel like you don't have that support. And so they're able to create this kind of illusion, this fog around you that makes them seem like they're feeling that need, but they're actually not. And if anything, you probably have a soul mother or soul father out there that's being blocked from you because you're giving so much energy to this, this person. But yeah, they want to, um, straw that broke the camel's back, they want to exhaust you. They want you to give up on this dream. They're panicking. They know it's about to come into fruition. They want you to give up on it. They want you to be heartbroken instead. They want you to be alone. They want you to be alone. King of Pentacles and the Hermit, the Moon. If you're, if you're trying to succeed and be better, don't tell this person about it. Keep it to yourself. Or, or find new friends that you can trust. But don't tell this toxic person about it. Because I promise you, it's like the moon is something hidden. And what's hidden is you. if you're trying to be the king of pentacles here or the queen of pentacles, keep it to yourself. Okay? Don't tell this person about your success no matter how lonely you are. Don't tell them what's going on in your life. You don't even... I mean, honestly, like I said, I wouldn't even talk to them. If you really... It's not going to be enough to set boundaries. If you keep them in your life at all, they're still going to be presenting a block. So if you really want the abundance and the happiness you're, you're asking for, you're going to have to let this toxic person go. Yeah, world card. Yeah, look at that. It's like the world, it's like you end this karmic cycle with this person and boom, ten of cups. Ten of cups is love, happiness, family. Like this person might not want you with your true love either. Like this person doesn't... It's like they want to convince you your true love is toxic, but your true love is actually not toxic. Like you're, like I said, you're going to be amazed. Like when you really cut this person out for good, no talking at all, no contact blocked, blocked in the physical and blocked energetically doing a cut and clear spell, sticking to it. You, you're, you're done with this person. No talking ever again. The world opens up for you. Ten of cups, true love, happiness, abundance. All the things that this person wanted you to reject or wanted you to feel rejected by, wanted you to doubt, wanted you to fear, they all come in quick, so quick. This person sabotaged you. This person has sabotaged you probably for years. This person has sabotaged you for so many years. Oh yeah, Queen of Swords. Because this person is such a disgusting narcissist that they almost feel like they're God. They almost feel like they're almost so narcissistic that they feel like they know all. That they that they're the the final say the final rule. This person just loves control, judgment. They want to be the judge. They want to they want to they want everyone else to be in this toxic, bitter, disgusting energy with them. 
And they're, they have bad karma for doing this, too. They really do. I feel like when you let go of this person, too, you're going to realize, like, I don't think... I know, I, I know I've reiterated it, but it's like, I really don't think that you recognize how much this person's impacted you. Like, I really think that you're someone that's a very good person and you try to see the best in everybody. So I think that you've... I think that you've seen red flags and you've tried to convince yourself it's just in your head when you need to, you need to stop with that and you need to be honest and be logical with yourself and be like, no, those are red flags. Those, those, because people, especially narcissistic people, I feel like they can get away with it sometimes because especially with someone like this, who's kind of smart, like they really, they've spent their life probably figuring out how to manipulate people. Someone like this who's kind of smart, they can like, they can make little, what is it like, what do they, what do they call it? Like the backhanded comments. It's like, they'll say really subtle things. Like they'll put you down in very subtle ways or they'll mislead you or manipulate you in very subtle ways. That way, if you stand up for yourself and you say something, they can gaslight you. They can turn it around on you and they can be like, what are you talking about? Like, I didn't mean it like that. Like, I didn't, I didn't mean that. Like, what, why are you being so dramatic? You're so crazy. Like, but you know, your intuition is telling you those little comments are not so little, especially when there's, there's lots of them over time. You need to be honest with yourself. It's kind of like, you know, like those guys that like, or girls too, I guess, but like those people that like want something sexual and like they test the waters. So they'll send you a text and they'll just say like, Oh, what are you wearing? Or something like, I don't know, something where like, like, what are you wearing with a winky face? And then if you get upset, they'll be like, oh, why are you being so dramatic? Like, I was just like, I was just playing. I was just, I was just, you know, I wasn't, t I wasn't talking about anything sexual. I was just joking. Like, it's that kind of energy. It's like, it, like, you know better. You know better. Stop letting this person gaslight you. Listen to your intuition above all else. You really need to, this person has almost gotten in your head so much that you don't even know your own intuition from your, your mind anymore. It's like they've fucked with your head. Like, they have mentally tormented you. You need, you, God, get this person out of your life, like, today, not tomorrow, like, today. Block them. If you need to say your piece, say it. Message them. Be like, you know, it's been a good run. I'm out. I'm, I don't, I, whatever. Like, I'm hearing, like, like, appointment. Like, you're supposed to take them to an appointment? No. Fuck it. Like, just be like, bye. I'm out. <laughs> they might even have, like, certain things that they're trying to do with you so that you're stuck. Like, like, oh, we're gonna, like, go on this trip in two weeks or we're gonna, um, I need to ride somewhere in three weeks. Like they're trying to like keep you obligated because they know that you have a sense of honor and integrity. Like you seriously be smart. Please be smart. But you're going to be amazed too. Um, what I was saying is you're going to be amazed at just how much this person is rubbed off on you. Some of their toxic traits like gaslighting and whatnot, like when you actually cut them out and you do the cut and clear spell and you clear your energy and you protect yourself and you're really finally done for good, you're going to start coming back to your true self. And it's going to be really hard because it's like you're trying to work on being your true self right now and work on manifesting things. And you kind of are. But it's like, again, this person is still creating these issues and creating these blocks. They don't they don't want to see you be everything that they couldn't be. You know, they, they don't want it. They don't want other people to be happy. This is like someone that really wants the worst for other people. But you're going to be amazed at how many of your personality traits actually came from uh, this person or came from like traumas that you went through with this person because when you actually cut them out you're gonna they're so like enmeshed in your energy field right now like they're so it's it's almost like they're like a part of you but not in a good way it's almost like a like I'm seeing almost like these like leeches like energy leeches like just like on you you know what I mean where it's like they're in your energy field and they're like on you or around you or in you but they're not um it's, it's not, you're so used to them that you see it as like a genuine part of yourself, but it's actually not a part of you. And when you actually let this person go and you get those leeches off you, you get that energy out of there, like clear yourself. You're going to be like, holy shit, that wasn't like the whole time. That wasn't me. Wow. Like you're going to, it's like, you're going to be in touch with your soul again, with your true self again. You're going to realize how much of your toxic traits actually came from this, this horrible person. Yeah, it's a battle, but you know what? You're going to get there with the Hierophant and the Six of Cups. Like, you're going to get there to... You got it's time to... It's time to step into battle. It's time to be strong here. It's time to use your intuition here. It's time to really... You know what to do. It's time to use your intuition. So I hope this helps somebody. Um, I hope this really helps you guys. Uh, like I said, I really appreciate the comments. Even just leaving a heart comment, it really does help me get back in the algorithm. 
Um, yeah. Yeah, this is... I'll just leave it here. Thank you guys for liking and sharing the video, subscribing, commenting. I'll see you guys later.